Mr. Speaker, I yield next the gentleman from Wisconsin, Mr. Grothman. Thanks. We're going to try to add a few, a few additional things about fentanyl. I first got here about seven years ago. And at the time, there were 47,000 deaths caused by illegal drugs a year. By comparison, there were 57,000 people who died in Vietnam. 40, but that was over a 10-year period, 12-year period. This is over one year, 47,000 people. And it was a national crisis. And every politician had to address that crisis. Well, seven years later, what became of that statistic? Whoa, of 45,000. of 47,000 deaths a year from fentanyl, it went up to 100,000 deaths a year. Now, I've been at the border five times. Um, every time I'm down there, the Border Patrol again and again emphasizes that with this open flow of people coming in this country, you're getting unlimited fentanyl. So we got a two, two obvious things to address the problem. We just passed a continuing resolution today with some increases in there, but the budget proposed by our president doesn't increase funding for the Border Patrol at all. You go through that budget, 12% upper here, 18% upper here, 7% upper here, Border Patrol, nothing. Like these lives don't matter at all. We've got to spend more money at the border. Secondly, when it comes down to penalties for people who are selling this fentanyl or trafficking in fentanyl, they are not great enough. Right now, your, your penalties for heroin, which is a fraction as lethal as, pent, as fentanyl, are much higher, the mandatory minimums, than the cutoff for fentanyl. I've introduced a bill that's going to deal with that called the Fentanyl Penal Penalties P Parity Act, which adjusts the mandatory minimum to be the same as heroin. So we've got to throw more people in prison that 100,000 deaths, by the way, that's not what we call nonviolent. Ask the parents of the people who died of these fentanyl overdoses whether that's just a nonviolent crime and we'll slap somebody on the wrist and who cares. We've got to up the penalties on people who are selling that fentanyl. Uh, we had 560 people die in Milwaukee County alone last year, and Milwaukee County is not that big. And secondly, we've got to do something at that border. The idea that this these fentanyl drugs have to continue to flow across the southern border and we can pretend there's nothing we can do, that we can continue to allow Camilla Harris to look out at the border, which is just like a joke on the American people. It's a joke on anybody who's had a loved one die of this fentanyl. That's got to end. I hope everybody in this building, those people fortunate enough to meet the president, tell them, get Camilla Harris off that border and get us some more Border Patrol agents down there so it shows that we're taking the lives of these 100,000 people a year a little more seriously. Thank you very much.